about something serious here. Parents in Tempe, or we should just say any adult in Tempe, could soon face some steep fines if you give your teens alcohol or even if they get a hold of it in your own home. The social host ordinance goes into effect this coming Wednesday. And joining us now to talk about this is Bobby Cassano. She is from the Tempe Coalition, one of the driving forces in getting this law passed. Thanks for being here this morning. Thank you. It's our pleasure. Very interesting because I've never heard any other type of city doing something like this. Obviously, there's already the criminal fines and charges that can come from the police department, but this is something that would be paid up to the city. The goal of this is really education. The goal is education, um, and rather than tackle it as a criminal offense or civil offense, as most other cities have done, we looked at it as uh, what would be best for Tempe. Um, so, as part of our uh, loud party ordinance, which has already been very effective, mm -hmm. and it's considered a police service fee. Okay, so, let's talk about how this works or what exactly it is. If the police are called to a home because of a nuisance party, which could be a loud noise, or because um, someone is called, they're concerned about alcohol being served to underage youth, and they find that that is indeed the case, then the provider, the adult provider, can be fined. Um, the fine for the first offense is $250. However, because education is our focus, sure. you can take an alcohol uh, awareness class, four-hour class, um, in lieu of the $250 fine. You could take it for $100, which just covers the cost of the class. Second, A second offense, offense gets much steeper. It sure does, because now you've been warned and you've been educated. It's $1,000 for the second offense. $1,500 for the third offense. And we hope, obviously, it never gets to that point. Now, Bobby. here's uh, something I asked Bobby off camera earlier. I said, so does it mean that a parent or an adult has to purchase alcohol, has to give the alcohol? Not necessarily. We're talking about any alcohol in your home. You are responsible for keeping that away from kids. Exactly. And if it's the home, if it's served in the home uh, by a child under 18 and the parents are away, the parents are still responsible. It should have been locked up. We hope they have these conversations earlier. What we're really concerned about is we know so much more now about it's more than just a rite of passage. It really leads to long-term um, behavioral problems and social problems. We know if you start drinking before the age 15, you have a 40% chance of becoming addicted. If you put that off until you're 21, you have that goes down to seven percent so we're really trying to protect our kids we want our kids to be able to reach their full potential mm -hmm. and that's aside, the point point. and aside from the scientific evidence that you were noting unfortunately we've seen the problems not just in Tempe but in every city of even as young as 12 year old 12 year olds the average age of first use in Tempe is 12 and a half wow. years old so that's why the coalition, it's, it's uh, a partnership between the city and Tempe Community Council, really felt it was so important to bring this to city council. Obviously, a unanimous decision on the city council's part in passing this. Again, this goes into effect. Say, what's your advice then, Bobby, to any adult out there who may have alcohol in the home? Um, the first thing we would ask is that they have a discussion with their family. Why is it important not to drink? We don't support it. We lock up our liquor. We don't want you to drink for these reasons. We will not serve alcohol to you or your friends. We won't host parties to you or your friends, and we won't condone it. Um, it's really important that you start these conversations early. It makes a difference in a child's life. And exactly like you said, opening up the lines of communication, hopefully, with exactly. this new law. Exactly. Thank you so much, Bobby, for Thank bringing you. it to light. It's been our a pleasure. Viewers, we appreciate it. Maybe set a trend throughout other cities as well. We hope well. so. That's the point. Okay. Thank you. We'll have much more.